It's your boy Artie Farty. We're out here in Melbourne, Australia to review some kangaroo. All right? So uh, here we have, uh, I've never tried kangaroo before. We're gonna give it a shot. We got some kangaroo jerky, right? Get a little of that. 100% prime lean kangaroo. I thought all kangaroo was lean. Sea salt, pepper, and spices. What kind of fat, uh, spice we got here? Low in fat, high in protein, iron, and zinc, okay? Gluten-free, all meat is gluten-free. Sea salt, pepper, and spices. Kangaroo, sea salt, sugar, spices, vinegar. Okay. And then this little number right here. The original Hagendorf Metwer something gourmet. I wonder if it's like Germans who moved here and started making kangaroo sausage or if they're trying to be cute. These, uh, these Australians using German sounding words. These bogans. You guys know about bogans? They're like the white trash of Australia. They're really amusing. All right, so. Let's try the sausage first. How do you even how do you even start this up? Do you open it up like this? I think I might just cut it. All right. First impression. Got to clear out all the sinuses. Got to got to um. All right. Got to clear the palate. He does this at restaurants, guys. The palate is clear, all right? First impression, odor. Nice on the uptake, all right? It's got a fruity aroma. No, it smells good though, for real. It smells like beef jerky. You're not sensitive. It's got like a... I'm not good at describing it. Sausage. Jeanette, you're better at describing sausage than I am. How would you describe this sausage? Beef jerky like. Let's give this a peel and then another slice. Maybe you're supposed to eat the paper? I don't eat paper, I only smoke it. <laughs> and make it. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a little slice of roux. Thin, thin, so you know it's a delicatessen. How much does it cost anyway? Like seven dollars. Seven bucks? Seven you... Australians, like four US. Where'd you find this? At a market. At a market, that's specific, nice and specific. At the Victoria, Grand Victoria Market or something. All right. You always need to throw out the first slice so they know you're elegant. <laughs> Was that your review? I'm still chewing it. I'm thinking, I'm mulling it over. I don't know, dog. Pretty unremarkable. Are you gonna give me a slice? I ate both. <laughs> he also does this at restaurants. He orders two plates and there's none for me. It's not true. What do you think about it? Tastes like beef jerky. It's not even beef jerky, it's sausage. This is about to be beef jerky. Uh -huh. Alright, go. Gotta cleanse the old palate. Oh, thank you. A hot cuckoo. Yeah, it's really hot. Ah! Ah. Let's try and, what we about, try and manipulate it a bit.
That's a sharp ass knife, dog. Imagine your mouth. Yo, this would be so Waku in Japan. Chewing this like this. Mm. You have to chew so loudly and so vigorously. Oh, yes, yes. Mm, it's a very unremarkable protein. Mm. It's like, it's really is red meat. So it's not, it doesn't taste like chicken or anything. Definitely not like, there's there, there's like a hint of like sweetness to it. Like the kind of sweet, the sweetness you get from like lamb or something. Mm. People were saying it was similar to rabbit, but I don't see that similarity at all. I think it's rabbit's like, a lot sweeter. Definitely, like I'm not... Like a rabbit fucked a cow. Like a rabbit fucked like a grass-fed cow. Right? Like a lean grass-fed cow. That's what it tastes like. A rabbit and a grass-fed cow had sex and had a... And created a... Row. Rabbit, cow, cow, rabbit, cat. A crow. <laughs> Cabot. I think I haven't even tried that many different kind of proteins. Art Huxtable. Uh, did you like the jerky or the weird sausage better? I like the sausage. I could eat the sausage for sure. Yeah. Combine the two. We still have to eat on like cooked kangaroo though. Yeah. The sauce is good. There's some nice spices in there. I guess there you have it, folks. Oh, yeah, all close. Oh, hold on, hold on, check this out. That's all, folks. Oh, my God. Shut up. Bye.